I'd honestly prefer not to talk too much more about traditionalism, but uh, I think I'm going to have to. Um, because this comment was quite interesting. Uh, this comment was posted on one of my older videos called, uh, you might recall it, uh, Rural and Urban Divorce Reality of Mechanization. And this is what I call the traditionalist last hope. This gentleman is spot on. I'm going to skip the first part. That's another issue entirely, the personhood issue, and, and would uh, extend beyond the scope of this video. But uh, suffice to say, suffice to say that uh, he's hit the nail on the head. If you want a traditionalist setup, effectively, you will need to journey to some jungle backwater someplace where poverty is widespread, where opportunities are extremely limited, in particular opportunities are limited to women, and as he says, uh, her loyalty will be assured because you're the best she can get and she won't be able to get anything else, assuming that you stay there. Places like maybe Laos, Vietnam, certain parts of Thailand, certain parts of the Philippines, and so on and so forth. Maybe some poverty-stricken areas of South America as well, various countries there. That is what, what remains of the traditionalist setup. If you're so obsessed with getting blowjobs and breeding, that's where you'll find it. Because everywhere in the West, you're not going to find it. In fact, you know, I'm not going to use the term West anymore. From now on, for henceforth, I will refer to it as the mechanized world, because that includes China and China, places like China and South Korea, which I've covered extensively at length in, in older videos, where you see the divorce rate increasing, where you see just textbook, textbook, bigger, better deal thinking on the part of the women there. So this is what I call the last hope of the traditionalist. The opportunity to get your blowjobs and breed provided you're willing to live in some jungle backwater someplace out there way out there not for me that's up to you to decide if you want that or not but rest assured this gentleman sees it correctly that's all there is left of traditionalism now, you might be for probably familiar with his wisdom through logic. And let me first say, I have nothing against him. I don't know him at all. I've never conversed with him. But he's, he, in fact, I'd, he's even a bit simpatico to me. So I, I actually kind of like the guy on a superficial level. But he fled the United States. He's a traditionalist. Um, and went to the Philippines where divorce is illegal. Uh, I don't know exactly where he lives, but the Philippines are not, they're not a wealthy country. So, you know, you have the rural aspect. You have the can't do much better than, than me aspect because the opportunities are limited there and so on and so forth. Uh, I mean, I've been to Manila. Even in Manila is not particularly, it's not, I mean, believe me, it's not exactly a wealthy metropolis. And I don't think he lives there. So this uh, is really the last great hope. And he'll probably, he would concede that that's all that's left of the traditionalist setup where you can, uh, you know, fuck with your wife on command and and uh, have her breed babies for you. Everywhere else in the mechanized world, that's either slowing down dramatically or it's completely ground to a halt. In the Western mechanized world, it's utterly impossible. In Eastern countries, it's becoming more and more difficult and it will reach the point where it's impossible as well. Anywhere where women have access, I've said this many times, as has Barbarossa, to education, government funding, that is state state backing them, which they'll always vote for, uh, economic empowerment, job opportunities, this is a done deal. Forget about it. She's not going to be loyal to you. She's not going to suck your dick and have your babies like you want. That's done. That's what I meant when I said traditional is, traditional is dead, send flowers. And that's what I've coined as the mechanization effect, the, the, the technological uh, transformation of society that makes living in society in the world easier, affording women more opportunities to do what they want to do. That is the traditionalist last hope. There is another aspect to this, though. If we wanted to go back to that in the mechanized world, in the Western mechanized world, you would literally have to use violence. You would have to force women at gunpoint or some other kind of deadly instrument and say, look, you're either going to go back to the stove and, and breeding babies and sucking my dick on command or we'll kill you 
or will, who knows, do some horrendous thing. You would need to use violence. I certainly not am advocating that. I don't want to go back to that. I want women to do what they want to do. Even though when women do what they want to do, it ultimately leads to the destruction of society, as we see. Barbara Russell had, uh, in his most recent uh, video, series of videos, there, was, there were clips. Very, very good video if you haven't seen it. Recommend it. Mention something about what Aristotle had said and then drew the conclusion, and I, I agree with him, that, that the, the ancients knew much more, or at least were much more honest about the nature of women. They, they weren't uh, maintaining, maintaining any errors or illusions about this. They knew the potential dangers because women biologically, they, they have evolved in a general sense to be more selfish than men. They evolved biologically to look out for themselves and their direct offspring primarily. They don't take into account the uh, larger scale consequences of their interests. And since women, women have collective thinking, the Boer collective mode, one woman's thought is another's and they will always vote for their interests. Forget about political action changing this because women outnumber men in terms of voting by, by far. And because women don't have this scope of thought, thinking of the long-term consequences of their actions, thinking only for themselves, uh, this this had, will and has had disastrous consequences for society. That said, I think women should do what they want to do. I don't want to impinge on the infringe on the freedom of women. But I want men to be keenly aware, precisely aware of what they're dealing with. That if you are do enter a relationship, it is a business contract, as the gentleman in the beginning alluded to. And it will only work as long as the environment limits the woman in her opportunities. Now, once again, Wisdom Through Logic has openly admitted she would he would never take his wife back to the United States, his Philippine, Filipino wife. Why? He knows, he knows that within a heartbeat, potentially, everything could change. Now, I don't know the personal state of his relationship or whether he actually believes that her feelings are legitimate or not. I'm not even interested in that. But he knows, he's admitted that if he were to take her back to the United States, things would go south possibly quite quickly. So that's where that possibility still exists in some rural jungle backwater, someplace in the world, in various places of the world. That's not going to happen in the West because women are never going to give it up. The same reason I ultimately believe that women will never allow the primacy of their access to birth control, their access to uh, sperm banks, all these things to be at least equaled and certainly not surpassed by men. They won't allow that. And men, being the biological slaves that they are, will kowtow to the women's wishes. Like I said, it's a numbers game. If men wanted a pill, really, a birth, a male birth control pill, and, and men en masse in the, in the, in the West uh, paraded and, and, and protested and, and wanted and voted for it, they'd get it. Ultimately, the numbers would cause the thing, cause the cause the desire to to become a reality, but that's not going to happen, as we all know. So, for the traditionalists out there, that's your last hope to live in some germ-eaten shanty someplace uh, with some woman who is completely dependent on you. And this guy's right, of course. Now she wouldn't love him. She's just. She's, you're using her for the sex and the babies and and vice versa for uh, the resources, so if you want that. But rest assured, for those who want to usher in some sort of setup like that back in the West, you know, going back to the family, which henceforth I like to simply refer to as the, the organized gene replication unit, this organized gene replication unit of that sort is not coming back because you will have to force women to give everything up that they have now, and they're not going to do it. If someone has a proposal, I mean, even shrinking the government, to shrink the government, you need a majority of voters to be behind that. And men who would be more uh, in favor of shrinking the government are outnumbered by women voters. So how are you going to do that? The government can only be shrunk if women get behind it. 
Ah, the traditionalist women. Well, yeah, we have some of those, and Barbara's talked about them in the most recent video. Uh, and believe me, they're all over the, the men's, the MRA, if you want to, or men's rights and the men's movement. I can think of basically two women off the top of my head, Typhon Blue and, and Girl Rights Wood, who have a genuine interest in some sense of equity or justice. But people like Helen Fisher and Christina Hoff Summers are just frauds, basically. I mean, frauds in the sense that they don't really have men's interests at heart. I mean, th these are women, essentially traditionalists, who, who want... Who some of they want this, all the goodies they have now, but mo, but in addition to that, some of the traditional stuff as well. I mean, if you listen to the rhetoric on say the both Helen Fisher and Christina Hofsovers, it's it's pretty uh, pretty telling. But that's neither here nor there. So yeah, you'll get people saying, "Oh, women go, let's go back." But th these are not women that have, like I said, women are biologically evolved to be essentially more selfish than men. Men have always had to. That's how we evolve. To, to to give up what, what we have for the sake of others, mostly for women and children, to be to be generous, to show more reciprocity. Women evolved to look out for themselves and look out for their children, and their interests, like I said, do not necessarily, on a collective scale, on a mass scale, represent the best interest for a society. But... Uh, they're not going to take, and, and as, as such, they're not going to take things into account. Like, what are the long, long term consequences of my decisions? Think about most women are not interested in que questions of justice and equity. Yeah, most of them are not. You know, you'll get a few, but. So, this is something to consider uh, for all the people who go, want to go into traditionalism, ranting on about traditionalism, and, and, and the, the organized uh, gene replication unit and what have you. You know, go to, like I said, go to some jungle backwater and live in a germ-eaten shanty and enjoy the fruits of your labor and your blowjobs. I have nothing against that. But don't pretend that's going to come back to the West. It's done. Hopefully I won't need to talk about traditional ever, traditional ever again because I have, uh, like I said, I've been in the process of quite some time preparing a video of, of great scope covering a wide variety of topics, but... Topics essential to the human race, I ultimately believe. When that gets done, I don't know, because I'm also working on, an, on my first mod for Skyrim with a fellow MGTOW, my mod partner, and that will be released hopefully at, by the end of the week. We'll see. I'll be making an announcement on this channel, but the trailer that I'm, I'm, I'm currently making will be premiered on my LP channel, which I'll provide a link to. Uh, just in advance, if any of you play Skyrim or are a member of the PC master race and have interest once that mod is up I think we'd both appreciate uh, an endorsement it's very much a MGTOW enterprise both of us are going my, uh, our own way uh, my partner briefly uh, he's a very bright guy and I think uh, he's going to be doing a lot of uh, good stuff in the world he's got a lot uh, he's got a lot of years ahead of him as opposed to me so anyway um, don't want to go off on a tangent uh, take care and hopefully that mod will get out uh, by the end of the week and I can finally get back to scripting that long video I keep on talking about. All right, God, the gods be with you.